I don't know. But if it doesn't seem to work out in the farm department, the recovery options don't seem as prominent as a as a Quas Exor who could like use four spirits, move around and farm. Wow. First blood action actually happening. A deep dive through the trees to creep in from behind. They get a snipe on the maybe next time the disruptor goes down. The another aggro lane from PR starting off pretty slow. It's a very, very slow courier and a surge double damage Dark Seer is able to bring it down. Oh, and it happened in top lane. So Go close. On. He goes in. They will be able to get the kill. A disruption under the tower. Hoping to get a bit of revenge. He does get a nice little forgetter strike. There's the waveform. A few more right clicks could do it. Firefly helps him survive. Oh. A new surge, but it's not going to be enough. He tried his damnness to be able to make it away from that trouble, but there you see it. Okay, they see now J4 is going for the pull and suddenly a wild axe man does appear. Spartan has come to play and the spin does come out. Allows him to get the last little right click in and he's going to be pushing that much faster to get to that quick level six and Axe will try his best to swing the momentum back towards Advenim's way. Yep, and now maybe even starting to creep cut. I'm not sure if Axe has the HP for it though. He needs to get the Tranquil Boots up soon, but if you get a full HP Axe, you can actually start going past it with the Iron Shell, with the, the spins, and it's very hard to deal with that contest. But it's going to be a Badara that actually go ends up going down. Again, you have to be very careful about how you play against the Sand King, and he's just able to combo up the way he needs to to, to really bring the pain. Oh, Skylark is in so much trouble. He gets locked under the tower. It's going to force Spartan to step in. They're going to give Spartan the Surge, and they'll be forced to actually glimpse back the Axe this also prompts a new rotation in. It's going to be Goddamn. Oh. Under his Elder Titan, he walks right into oh. the two, but he goes low to a call with a couple of Ion Shells. It's easy pickings right there onto the Elder Titan, and they're looking for more. Big Dump could be in a bit of trouble. That Ion Shell does so much work, but it's Skylark who could be taking some bad damage here. It looks like he oh. might be able to step back away, but hi, how you doing? Afro Ninja does show up, zaps him down with the laser, and he's possibly looking for more here. Do they have a second to the tower? Goddamn is able to get off the stomp. Spartan's caught under a bit. And we're going to have full attendance soon. Oh. If this keeps up, Spartan is going to get hit up with a stun. They're going to have the EMP to help space it up a bit. And they are going to be able to at least get the Sand King down. They will lose Spartan. Thug gets off a nice two-man tornado. Big Nub's in trouble. He goes down. And it could be goddamn next. Iron Shell making chase. Thug's still looking to hang around. And now rotation is going to be coming oh. from the Disruptor. Wall's going to be dropped, but he doesn't catch the mark. Goddamn slips right up and out and over. And comes right back <laughs> in close enough to hope to get part of the XP. And he will do it. J4, J4 is here. He helps seal the deal. What a hot mess that's happening here in the bottom lane. Yeah, absolutely. This is just really hyped up the game for me here as we see both teams going at it. Uh, Sanky tries his best to rotate to make something happen, but it just doesn't work out. Now the jump on mid here with a great EMP, still blinding this boy to give him enough distance thanks to the, the lack of bashes. Can they finish him off? Apo Ninja doubles back, looking to be by the oh side no. of the Morphling, smacks him in the head Misclick. and takes him down. And now even though the, he makes it to the high ground, Chase is on, though Big Numb is able to kind of make replicate, strides. Replicate. Sends out the replicate. Comes in Manover. Madara's running, man. Yeah, he's Sand so King's dead. He's so dead. There's nowhere to go. He gets stomped. Goddamn will take that last hit. And the bloodshed does continue. We're only about eight and a half minutes in with a score of eight to five. Everybody really firing off on all cylinders. With the exception of Shadow Demon, he's just still hanging top. Yeah. <laughs> Afro Ninja may be able to showcase some mad maneuvers on the items and the, s the spells, but misclicks a simple walk away, and that's going to actually cost him his life. But they do get the void in turn. J4 down bottom just gets run down. This Iron Shell Battle Hunger is just really difficult to deal with. You can surge him to get in range for call. You can obviously the call. They will drop a Stag Storm, and that will force them back. A glimpse will pull Spartan right back into the arms of Cheshire Cat. Mits him with the stun, and that will allow them to get the kill. And for the Rasta Adfinim, they make their own casual approach here. For all the, the fluster that's been happening here, and it doesn't oh, stop. Double. Bottom lane, beautiful two-man stun set up right there. They are going to be able to get the quick swift finish, taking down Skylark and the follow-up on the Spartan. Back-to-back -back takedowns on them. A nice glimpse back, could set up a possible another kill here. But it looks like uh, they will not be able to get maybe next time. Now a response, a jump in from Adara. Nice three-man Chrono. Looks to go for the easier target into J4, oh! but not even that's going to be easy. Here comes the Sand King moving and gets a big Burrow strike, and they will finish off Madara. This is not going good for Adfinem. PR get all the answers they were hoping for. And a huge... Now suddenly he's about jumped up to second place. Adfinem, though, they continue to ram their heads into the wall here. Want this fight bad, bottom lane, but now they rush themselves into a bit of a static He's storm, in. and they're gonna lose Thug! This could go even worse for Adfinem at this rate. They will lose the one.
Barton hides within the side camp right there. Skylark looking to run back and away. J4 needs mana, though. He cannot get off the glimpse. Does have four charges of one, but doesn't seem like that will be enough. Meanwhile, Spartan, who is hanging on the sidelines, is going to be spotted out now. They pop him with oh. a laser. Abmo Ninja eating a lot of damage. They still hold the Culling Blade. It's not going to be necessary. He gets the spin to get the job done. Fresh Aircat then moves in along with Goddamn. It's going to allow them to get the response, taking out the axe. And now comes Madara and Skylark. It looks like they're going to verge up Goddamn and look to go for that kill there. Skylark needs to be careful though. Vacuum wall needs to stun, but a quick disruption reaction will keep Skylark alive. As he runs right back through his own wall, PR are going to have to withdraw here. They look to run back it away, but Mandara is still chasing. Three seconds for the time walk. Nice one hit bash. Will help get the kill onto J4. He jumps up and over. Doesn't quite avoid the stomp. But he wants to keep it. No problem. That's the next level strat. It's the full on beyond the game PRD. Apo Ninja, who recently picks up his power treads, casually farms a camp, but is easily spotted Bash. now. They move in, and they hammer him down. Spartan's waiting, he gets the KS. Nice dunk right there by him. And they put the Tinker back down into the ground. Now. But despite the really nice trap. Wow, that was so close. Almost sketches that Morphling with the call. He does wait for him to make it back it away, but they're already there waiting for him. They hit him up with the disruption. They hit him up with everything they got, and they are going to get the final hit, and it's going to be maybe next time who picks that one up. Spartan will be a nice guy and save the dunk on this one, but here's PR now. Back from the dead. Echo Ninja. Due to travel, the rest of his team smoked up, looking for their approach. Dropping down a ward for a little bit of extra vision out in front here. They're going to make the move. There's the blink. The connection is going to be on to the Shadow Demon. They commit a follow-up of a Static Storm too, and that will help them secure it. The one-for-one -one trade between the Morph and Shadow Demon is not going to be enough, and with that, they'll get the glimpse back. It's going to be on Spartan. When it comes to shove, he can always go to that max strength state. I mean, obviously, if he's silenced, if he's out of mana, this isn't going to happen, but uh, multiple times now he's been able to just soak up so much damage while his team comes in to reinforce, and now more than reinforcing gets going on to Madara with a Epi Burrow combo. Uh, not even sure how he had vision for that. Yeah, I mean, even... <laughs> Barton spotted within the trees. He gets the call off. It's going to be on Big Numb. Can he get some forgiving spins on top of the Iron Shell to be able to get the finish? Not going to be the case with that strength pumping on forward. It looks like they're going to make the move. They get Skylark down. He does drop the wall in time, but might be too little too late. Spartan put up against the wall right now and stunned up. He goes down. That's two from Adfinem. They are going to be dropped, and they're looking for more. Thug able to just etch his way out, barely alive, runs under the Ghost Walk to make it away. So, moving forward. Very sticky in the bottom half of this map for quite a while, and now suddenly PR are going to be up and ahead when they really don't have to be right now, but they are. And now they move in. Spartan's going to get caught out. They commit the Static Storm, and that will help secure the kill onto the Axe. PR string together a nice extra. Sort of positive light here. It looks like they've been able to cross paths with the Elder Titan. Goddamn, set to go down with the help of the Purge and the Cold Snap. They do a lot of damage, but even that takes a little bit of extra muscle power, and they will finally get it done. Only one little support, though, from PR that's aiming kills and resources right now that they're fine. They'll just continue to skate through Easy Street here. Bomb lane, there we see the Elder Titan, the TPN, the blink oh. out. Lips all the way back and away here. Puts Spartan closer and back towards his team. A bit of a misfire there, but here comes Cheshire Cat leading an epicenter. Leads to them getting caught by two. Both will be time dilated. Vacuum backed in further under the wall, and it will allow Adfinem to quickly skate out the two important targets from PR. Is this going to be Adfinem's time to really shine here? They get a good, good connection with the Tornado, and it will lead wow. to success as they also get the takedown of the Elder Titan. A double kill for Thug. Adfinem finally gets some swing back their way after what feels like about 10 minutes time. They will not be able to make catch here, it looks like, for Cheshire Cat. Power Rangers will lose three. Adfinem will take the rubber band swing. Well, not get the catch for any sort of PR. Uh-oh, we have trouble. J4, look at this, creeping in from behind. They've been able to spot out Thug. Both him and Madara caught under the stack storm and silenced up a bit. They're able to burst down Thug. Madara gets off the time dilation. Ooh. Spartan jumps in, does get the execution onto the Disruptor, but still a one-for-one -one trade that Adfinem are going to have to get. The so, like, just taking out these abilities with the EMP is a really big deal, and they're relying so heavily on their magic wands to fix this. Spartan caught out with a nice little Sand King stun, leads to stop setup and leads to destruction as the epicenter will be the emphatic exclamation point for that one. And that means that the rest of it with any sort of surprise attack, but that is still there. Madara now waiting in the wings. 
Has that Chrono. There's the jump from Cheshire Cat. Moves it for Thug. Thug's able to get off the tornado. Big Earth Splitter does fly forward. Helps get the finish onto Thug. There's Madar looking to move in. Will be able to get the grab on the Tinker. Locking him under that Chrono Sphere. Cheshire Cat looking to make chase. Trying to get to hold him maybe next time. He'll run inside the pit. Can he juke within and out? He even tries to. Cheshire Cat hides under the Sandstorm. Eventually will catch him with the stun and be able to finish him off. While down in below, Chase is still being had. Advenem looking to run in for Big Num. Big Num trading in for all the strength he can. Nice little glimpse back will stop Madara from pursuit. And at the end of the day, and when the dust does settle, it's a two-for-one trade. Yeah, they got it. They already have the Natural Order Enhancement from the Elder Titan for it. We'll see if they decide to go for the double burst pass. Meanwhile, as they push it for the Madeira 1, they take Madara out of the game just as fast as he wanted to be here to play it. Meanwhile, Big Num, confidently striding on in, is going to be forced to hit his own self-ghost as the Earth Spiller does fly through behind him. Nice glimpse back will pull Skylark right back in under the tower and allow PR to be able to get that finish to go down for Advenem. Make it three with the takedown of that Shadow Demon. Looking to stand and fight is Spartan, but it's going to be under a Static Storm. He also goes down, and the big guy to benefit from it all is going to be Big Numb, securing himself an extra couple of kills. He's kind of collide here in the bottom lane. He's paying tabs to the top lane and making sure that oh. the forward. And Oh, as Thug shows himself in the lane. Trying to get the tornado off. They make a spot and they make a jump. Madara's going to be forced to step in. Both him and Skylark get off a nice wall and a chrono combo here. Stackstorm is there to try to defuse. He will end up going down a one-for-one -one trade right now. And then F Advenem are going to be forced to backpedal a bit. There's Cheshire Cat making the jump for the Shadow Demon with the assistance coming up from Afro Ninja. Blinking in, they will be able to get that burst. On the other side, it's Godam who's going to be swung on. Spartan helps get the dunk for that. Him and Madara going to work here. But now the numbers have changed. Cheshire Cat hides and waits through the trees while Big Num continues to go to work. Locking Spartan in the corner. Uh -oh. Madara is going to uh -oh. be forced to step in. Bashes are coming through. But there's going to be the mighty Cheshire Cat Eddie Sever who is going to be able to get the finish onto the Elder Titan. Goes back again for Spartan. Spartan gets off some nice little spins. It will help keep him alive in that corner. But ultimately, the Caustic Fidal comes through in the grave for Cheshire Cat. An absolute rumble in the jungle here in the bottom lane. But with uh, Apple Ninja still living on, Cheshire Cat. And uh, those are good, but I think damage over disable. You've got plenty of that. Oh, Apple is actually silenced. He's cold snapped. He's actually going to get caught out here. Yeah. A lot of comeback gold coming in here as 473 will go to Thug and a chunk of change as well for Spartan. And he's making it see. Gets the Yules off. Tries to run. Madar looks to make chase here. He gets a Burrow. But uh, I don't know, J4 trying to help him out with a Sandstorm. Oh! Sandstorm, <laughs> he's running. They're going to get him. Madara says, don't get away from me. Jumps in, gets the Chrono, makes J4 pay for it as well. And then a follow-up kill looks like for Gotham. Can they get him? Yes, oh, they He's blinded, he's blinded. Can. He can't swing yet. He's got to wait for it. Finally, we'll be able to bring him down. But he loses his own life for it. So bloodthirsty is Advedem. Oh. In the meantime, though, the Morphling did get caught out there. He's paying him for both teams as they continue to scout it on out. Cheshire Cat waiting towards the high ground while uh, Thug will scout it with the Sunstrike here. Looks like Skylark has caught himself under a bit of a sag storm, which he'll walk back and away from. Jump in from Spartan, looking to lock down Apo Ninja. Caught a bit of a hot mess. Tries to bounce off oh. the laser from the remaining creep. Earth Splitter down. We'll be able to get the connection Epicenter. here. Epicenter! Four, and then the self takedown. Epicenter from Cheshire Cat. He tries to scoot himself into a better position to make some strong use out of it, but looks like Advenem are already heading themselves out the back inside. Spartan gets caught up with the stun. Spartan wants to make chase. Meanwhile, Madara gets up a nice Chronosphere. Looking to get the finish for Godam. We'll be able to get him done. Cheshire Cat still under pressure from Spartan. While on the other side, Afro Ninja is back. Begins to unload. Oh. Look at the lasers go. The blind is there, and Big Num is looking to make a retreat. They vacuum back into a wall, but can't get the finish yet. Now the rockets begin to fly. Sun Strike forced forward. Morphling still good. Hiding Not in the for side, long. But there's going to be the tornado. There's going to be the lockdown. The dunk is going to get Lincoln's off. Freaking side shop. Blocking the death right there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> they get what they need. Big Num goes down. But my god, Advenem have to sweat it out for every kill, it feels like. Yeah, but still, they're getting them. That's the yeah. big thing. They're killing these big, high-priority targets there. And I got to say that Godum played that fight really well. On to Spartan. He wants to reflect back a bit of that damage. But, oh, they get a glimpse. They get a static. Oh, that wow. quick blink out. The pipe. The pipe actually blocked it so he could blink away. That normally wouldn't happen. Very true. And now it's at Finem considering an opportunity to look to make some chase here. It is going to be Madara who does get that first critical hit in, taking out little J4. And the Spectre does get taken. Um, I, yeah, it's, it's becoming a very interesting game because the net worth is actually not too bad for Advenom, but uh, Saint oh. King. Two spins. 
Looks like he's Spartans there. looking for the setup. Skylark's there to kind of back him up. Gets the vacuum pullback. If he had Fair an Aghanims, I think he would have lived because of the, the range of the burrow, but here he's just caught out too far from home. Scorpion Salad served up right now as Spartan is the chop man. We'll be able to put him down and add Fidem continue to trick together a couple of pickoffs here. Definitely causing a bit of an uneasy feeling here for PR when they can. Yeah, it's a freebie in the end. They're actually going to see a very deep dive. Spartan, what are you doing? Where is he? I, I didn't even know he went so deep. I had to chase the camera all the way back in inside. He's trying to make his way back out now, and it looks like they'll be fine. Rockets coming out. At Fidem. Go back in one more time. Spartan looks to go for the pullback here on two. Got him. And now with Madara deeping in. Going in even deeper, looking to go for Afro Ninja. Not going to be able to get him, but does get the follow up. Takes down J4, and now they double back. Big Dub, who committed in, looking to get the backliners, is able to quickly take down the Invoker. They get Madar, they get the first life PR. Looking pretty good for their, an ability to be able to hold. Madara jumps up and out. That stop is nowhere near the mark, but it doesn't matter. Madara walks back and away here. He gives him the surge. Oh! Turns back with the Manta. Instantly just takes down the Elder Titan. Big numb, obviously. There are so many different factors that go into how the next fights can play out, and Net Worth is certainly one of them, but we'll actually see the initiation on Invoker. Yeah, and they will quickly take out Thug. Cheshire Cat sweeping in, gets the Yules out. There's the first Dagon. That's going to be a pullback with the Glimpse, and that will also be the takedown of maybe next time. Affidem quickly just stuck with three, and there is no buyback here on this Invoker. Jump in call, while behind Skylark looking to go for some backline action. Gets the vacuum wall. ER simply reevaluate. Big Num will be able to get his life back and go right back into the grind. Another jumping call for Spartan. Tries to drag him back and inside. There's the play from Madara. Jumping in, looks to go for Cheshire Cat. Will easily be able to take him down. Oh. And looks to go for Big Num next, but Big Num they obviously a, a bigger boy. They move in. It's going to be popped. Looking to go to more defusals to they, slow him down. I really don't think they can take down Big Num. Another call could set it up, but Madara's already taken way too much damage. So will time Ooh. walk away just narrowly? But Spartan's already such a low HP. I don't know, click to the ground. I can't tell you, but he's oh, dead. Oh, no. <laughs> Very And Big Nub's dead with him. And Big Nub's there. He gets caught under. Trying to back out with a BKB TP. Not going to be happening in the Book of Spartanus. You might be able to get the fastest spirit alive to be able to get that big stomp out. Okay, Spartan possibly caught in the middle of this one. As looks like Madara makes his own approach. Gets caught under a bit of a static storm. We'll have to double back while Big Num looks to make chase. Epicenter only going to be here for Skylark. All the meanwhile, Madara will be able to get the catch up and the finish onto Disruptor. Steps back. Big Num caught under the Chrono. The meatball above. Madara eating a lot of damage. Beautiful stop was there and he'll be going down. Big Num muscles his way through it all with a huge burst of strength. He will be able to waveform and make it away from trouble. But Madara, he's bought back. He's got to get the most out of it. Could be set for him in the near future as we already have that Orb of Venom waiting in his stash. Has some money for some ultimate ores, but obviously you want to be nursing a bit of that money for a buyback. Here comes the Epi, a jump in play, all for Thug, and that topped together with the Afro Ninja burst of that dig, and will allow them to get the sweet pick. Quickly at Finem, rushing in to see if they can get any sort of catch. Madara sidesteps, moves over and away from the Static Storm. He will jump in, gets his own Chrono off. Not going to be able to make it away from that one. Cheshire Cat can't burrow too far enough. They will be able to bring down two. A buyback comes out from Madara. The Dagons, the lasers, they all begin to fly. And they will be able to get the burst. Madara goes down, loses his first life. Apple Ninja gets called out, gets brought back, and then gets hammered home all by Madara. And with, with this, Adfinem take the names of... Very cautiously. Here comes Adfinem, man. Already rolling in, and look at, the, look at who they got. He spotted out Big Num. Jumping while he's farming out the camp right now. And is he going to be able to make it back the way? It looks like he has, but now it's right into a tornado. Still, he'll be good. While on the oh. other side, oh, I totally missed the mark on that one. There is going to be the Chrono Connection here from Madar. They will get the finish onto the precious little Disruptor. They're looking for Goddamn 2. Madar should be able to get it here. Will be close enough. The chop comes in from Skylark. He helps seal the deal. All led in from a nice little jump. For them, like, I don't know what the hell is yeah. happening right now. <laughs> now, the only way you can be better right now is with an Aether Lens. Like, if you get an Aether Lens on your Tranquil, Windlace, Mask of Madness, Elder Titan, you'll hit every physically possible stomp. Uh oh, Madara spots out Apple Ninja at the Secret Shop. We'll pop his BKB. Oh, and Storm comes in, and what a beautiful snipe there from Thug, landing out the Sunstrike right around the corner. And then Madara says, You want to come? I'll bring it. Moves in with a Chrono, goes right for oh J4. Oh, my Will gosh. Be able to get that taken. Now they look for more. Big Numb. 
Look at the sand and fight. Pops his BKB and begins to unload here for Skylark. Cheshire Cat comes in from the back lines. Popping out the big empty center. And then oh! there's Spartan. Jumps in, gets the call. Looking to bring down Big Dumb. Can they get it done? For now, he F blades himself. Pulls back it away and looks like he will be able to live on. Jumping from Thug will be a bit, a bit off the mark with the oh tornado no! catch. Afro he Ninja though, hot on the side. He's going to be in trouble and he's going to be down for good if he does get dropped. Nearly two minutes on the sidelines, out of the game. He's down for the stop him, but they're throwing their own lives out, trying their best to stop the roll of Adfinem. They don't seem to be able to do it. Big Nub just happily waveforms right on in, knowing that he has to pull out any sort of stops. But now down two sets of racks. Adfinem feeling the taste of victory here. Segwaying now all the way to the bottom. Tinker not able to even have a say in the matter at all. Big Nub with a final bit of stops. Will be losing his first life under the vacuum combo from Thug. And that's going to be a tier three down. Megas now potentially set to come out. The game to be clinched here from Adfinem. They get the chrono onto Big Nub. He'll try to morph into strength. But it's not going to matter, it looks like. He goes down with an emphatic chop and a beheading. It is over. Adfinem will take game number two and tie the series up. One to one. Such a critical win for Adfinem too. Because